many of the individuals who are coming to Integrity House for help are coming because of fentanyl abuse. Over the last decade, the sharp rise in fentanyl overdose deaths has been alarming. It now makes up 75% of drug deaths in New Jersey. In some cases, the individual wants the fentanyl. And obviously they don't want to die, but they want to get as high as possible. But in all too many cases, the fentanyl is mixed into the drugs the individuals think they're taking, like marijuana, cocaine, and heroin. And they're usually an older generation, and they want to stay away from the fentanyl, where they're actually trying to find the heroin because they're afraid of the instant death that comes along with fentanyl instant death because fentanyl is 50 times stronger than heroin, according to the CDC. It's dramatically worsened what was already an opioid crisis. In the latest data from 2019, fentanyl contributed to the deaths of more than 2,200 New Jerseyans. What started out as an oxycodone or a hydrocodone prescription opioid problem with some heroin really has turned into just an all-encompassing fentanyl epidemic when it comes to deaths. And because it's synthetic, produced in a lab, it's much cheaper, making it easier to sell and buy. And it's completely undetectable when hidden in other drugs. That leaves experts in the recovery field scrambling to find the best ways to fight this growing epidemic. It's going to take a, a, an all-encompassing approach to both cutting off the stream of drugs and drug use and then cleaning up the mess that's been made uh, through the availability of these illicit and to some extent legal opioids. Reverend Leslie Harrison says another war on drugs is not the answer. Incarceration is not rehabilitation. Incarcerating someone who is addicted to substances and um, they go to jail or to prison, they're not receiving the mental health treatment that they need. Addiction is a mental health disease and it should be treated as such. When the individual comes to us for help, we want to provide treatment for them. We want to provide services for them. But at the same time, we introduce them to Narcan, where we want them to know that there is an antidote uh, that could reverse an overdose. And there continues to be uh, state funding and federal funding to help us keep a supply of Narcan at Integrity House. Some people might say, why is the state paying to save the life of someone who's choosing this deadly drug? Every life is precious and whatever we have to do to keep the person alive long enough until they can enter treatment and make some meaningful changes in their life, that it's a good investment and it's saving lives. If the legislators would look at people as individuals, laws would change and harm reduction centers would be open. Um, needle exchange centers would be open. Safe testing sites would be open so that people would be able to use in a healthy manner until they are able to or willing to look at why they are turning to substances. That critical intersection where a person is ready to break their addiction and treatment is available to them. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Joanna Gagas.